Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the previous year CBSC board questions. From today onwards, we are going to give you the previous year asked questions. Okay, likewise, let's start with the IUPAC nomenclature. Like, uh, the, draw the structure of 2 bromopentane. So, in the year of 2014, it was asked. So and then IUPAC name of this compounds. Okay, let's start with the two bromopentane. How will you solve this? Pentane. How many carbon? One, two, three, four, five. Pentane. And uh, two bromo. In second question, wherever you can fix it because it is bromine. Two bromopentane. Now we can solve with this hydrogen H two H two here H here H three. Okay, this is called the 2 bromopentane. Okay, so now we can satisfy the hydrogen with the carbon valency. First, carbon should have 4 valency. So have, we have to put 3 hydrogen here, 2 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen. Already this carbon has been having 1, 2, 3. So remaining 1 hydrogen we have to put and CH3 is here. Okay, that is the first name that is a 2 bromopentane. It was asked in the year of 2014. And second question, how will you name this compound? So here in the year of 2013 it was asked, like a double bond will enter into this uh, compound now. Okay, how will you name it? So initial the preference to be given to the double bond. In halo alkene arrays, the preference to be given to double bond. So we have to number it from this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we can name it. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, according to alphabetical order. So we are to, this is a functional group. So 4 chloro, 4 chloro, then how many carbon? 5 carbon, that is a pent, pent. So in first portion we have double bond. So 1 yin. Okay, so 4 chloro pent 1 yin, that is the name of this compound. And third one, what about this one? So CH3, CH, double bond comes here. Now we have to number it from this position. So 1, 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. How we name it? So this also has been the year of 2013. So how will we name it? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total number of carbon atoms is 5. In fourth position we have bromo. So 4 bromo. Then methyl group also present. So 4 methyl. 4 bromo, 4 methyl. How many carbon total carbon atom? Long chain is only 5. So pentane. So pent. Pent. In which position double bond is existing? Second position. So pent to in. So this is the name of this compound. And uh, next compound is CH3 twice. So I can write like this. So according to our own, we, uh, we can write like this. This is CH3 and CH3. Here to avoid confusion, you have to write the compound like this, then only it will be better. Okay, what about this compound? Now uh, it is, uh, you have to see the long chain. So this question 1, 2, 3, 4. So the chlorine will get lower number question. So that we have name, number from this way 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so now we can name it 2 chloro, 2 chloro, 3 methyl, 3 methyl, how many carbon atom? Butane. So, butane. So, this will also be asked in the year of 2003. And here, the next one, what is that? Uh, this is also asked in the year of 2013. How we name it? So, here, branching is there. More number of branching is there. That's what we have to start the numbering from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what 3 chloro. 3 chloro. Uh, 2, 2,2 dimethyl dimethyl how many carbon? total number of carbon atom is 4 so butane so we have to name like this and second compound what about this one? so we, this is also has been the year of 2013 now uh, bromine chlorine two substances there so we have to follow the alphabetic order so according to that bromine will come first am I right? right. so here uh, I have to number it from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 bromo, 
टू ब्रोमो फोर क्लोरो हाउ मेनी कार्बन एटम्स सो फाइव कार्बन सो पेंटेन पेंटेन दिस इज द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड and this question this iupac name will be asked in 2 years in the year of 2011 and 12 it was asked so how will you name it so here the double bond will comes here and we have to start from this one this is two this is three so according to that three bromo three bromo two methyl two methyl prop prop how many one in prop 1 in so we have to name like this so prop 1 in so we have to name like this prop 1 in and this also has been in the year of 2011 so how we name this compound so we have to see the long chain so the long chain that should be attached with the functional group okay so we have to the the functional group should get a lowest number now we can think about that so here 1 2 3 1 2 3 so in according to that the functional group get a lowest number here so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 in this way only we have to name it okay so number it so what about the name of this one so 1 bromo 1 bromo second portion we have one methyl group and another methyl group so two methyl group is there so i have to name like this 2 comma 2 dimethyl dimethyl how many carbon atom total carbon atom is 3 so propane okay so this is what i have to name it the compound the very important compound is here we have to see uh the this was because this was not as been any year but the thing is we have to see like this because i, I want to show you the difference between these two compound that is what i am written here so how you name this compound here uh, you should not take this as a main chain 1 2 so because the longest carbon atom is not like this the longest carbon atom is 1 2 3 3 this is the longest carbon atom so i have to name like this 2 bromo 2 methyl propane are able to understand student so here i have to name like this because i have to see the longest chain attached to the functional group Okay, so here longest chain I can define take one two three. So this will be long chain one two three. This will also be long chain. But I'll if I'm getting a name like this one two three. So I'll get a functional group. So long number will be there. So but here a one the first portion will get functional group. Functional group should get lowest number. So according to that rule, so this will be I have a name like this. But in this compound. so this is a two bromo why does two bromo because the long chain is this one this one be a long chain the vertical line will be a long chain so second portion my bromine is attached so that two bromo two methyl propane and next question is write the structure of the following what about the structure 1 comma 4 di bromo but to in so they are given but to in long chain is butane so we have to write 1 2 3 4 they given 1 comma 4 dibromo so first portion i have bromine and fourth portion if i consider this also bromine okay 1 comma 4 dibromo butene but to in second portion so if i take this as a suppose if i numbering from this r 2 3 4 everything this carbon is getting double bond so second portion will be a double bond now i can get any any of the option i can take like here c h2 and here c h here also c h and here it is c h2 now we can consider this is the structure of 1 comma 4 di bromo but to in okay are you able to understand and second thing is second compound this is a very important compound butane the long chain is carbon is butane 1 2 3 4 butane is taken second position so i have to made something like that second position this is the second position so whatever the thing is given in bracket that should be written in second position so phenyl group is given phenyl group is given i written a phenyl group so two bromo phenyl group this is the position number 1 this is the position number 2 i had to write the bromine here okay i had to write the bromine here so here it is bromine so two bromo this is 1 2 two bromo phenyl 
so that will be given in second question so butane so now we can satisfy with carbon so here one hydrogen is there here two more hydrogen is there here ch3 is there so now we can get the name of the compound and third one same thing according to the same methodology you have to follow that's the iodo octane one iodo octane they given and second position they give some second uh, some bracket something in bracket now how we can solve so how many carbon atom total carbon atom is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so according to that the first position will have iodo so i i have written iodo so iodo octane i written now now what about that second position i have this is the first position if i consider this is the second position second position i have a chlorophenyl so the same thing so phenyl group is there i have to write a phenyl group i written a phenyl group now in second position so bracket you have to uh, put a ring itself also because it's a phenyl group and second position we have a chlorine so this is a two chlorophenyl one iodo octane now we can satisfy with the hydrogens everything we can satisfy with hydrogens and what about the uh, next one one bromo four secondary butyl two methyl benzene the very important thing here the main component is benzene but here these are all will be acting as a substituent once it is act as a substituent that will be named as phenyl so if it is act as a main compound that will be considered as benzene so now we have to write, start writing the benzene structure. Now we draw the structure of benzene. Now we can give the position. What about the position? Suppose if I'm taking first position, I have bromo. If I consider this is the first position, bromo. And fourth position, I have secondary butyl. What about the secondary butyl? So this is a secondary carbon. Am I right? So butyl in the sense CH3, CH2, CH. Three, four carbon atoms should be there. So secondary butyl, I written here. And uh, second question, I have methyl also. CH3. Okay, am I right? This is the structure of 1 bromo, 4 secondary butyl, 2 methyl benzene. 1 bromo, 4 secondary butyl, 2 methyl benzene. This is the first question, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth one. Okay, so now 1 bromo. Uh, 4 secondary butyl, 2 methyl benzene. Total compound is benzene. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.